Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience at McGill and other things that you absolutely need to know if you want to go to McGill. These things are essential to know because when you choose a university, all these things are important and you need to know what McGill is about. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. If you are interested in this topic and you don't know what to do for university, then I think definitely you should keep watching this video. If you don't care about universities, then I don't think this is a video for you. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, <clears throat> so the first thing you need to know about McGill is that it is crazy party life. Like personally, I'm not a, someone that drinks, so I couldn't tell you all the details about it, but I can show you some pictures and videos right here of how crazy it is because I heard stories and it, it's something that I've never heard before. But if you're looking for that type of university where you can go crazy and you can party, drink, go to frosh, go to carnival, it's like a full week of partying and uh, drinking and music and other stuff that you may be interested in. Also, McGill is placed in the heart of downtown really is central to everything so if you don't live in montreal if you don't know anything about montreal it's beautiful it's really 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 nice and you have a lot of nice restaurants really good quick restaurants salads healthy options that you can find in the area and you can just simply walk there that's something that you may want to consider when you go to university if your university is is at the heart of the city and if you can do other stuff in your breaks or go out with your friends which is very very important the second thing you need to know about mcgill is that it is very very diverse so when you go there you're going to see so many people from different countries from different backgrounds different cultures and this is so valuable when i went i wasn't expecting this much variety and this much like cultural diversity and very very few people are from montreal there's people from france from australia from china from japan from the us from everywhere really like even colombia and i really love that because it gives you different perspectives on different subjects and the class is so much more interesting because you have all these people from all, all around the world and it makes it much more fun so that's a really important thing to know about mcgill yeah so you're surrounded by people that are really smart and this helps you develop um, a different perspective and also to look at things in different ways. I really love that about McGill and I would definitely recommend it if you are willing to get to know other people from different countries and make your network all around the world. I think that's so valuable at McGill. Okay, the third thing that I think it's important to know from McGill is that it's relatively cheap compared to universities. If you go on exchange, it's gonna cost more money, but McGill is cheap, uh, especially for you people that live here already it's i think uh i'm gonna break down the cost in a few seconds but it's much cheaper than going to you know the us and going to a university that's in the same level so you get a lot of value from mcgill because it's a really really good university in the top 17 universities in the world and you have it here which is not that expensive so I'm gonna break down the cost of living for tuition is about seven thousand dollars a year if you're from here montreal i'm not sure about international students but i think it, it is a little bit more housing is about eight thousand dollars a year depending on where you stay but usually if you stay with a roommate it's going to be less expensive for your whole like studies books everything food housing tuition around twenty five thousand dollars a year if you're from here or out of province a very good estimate of it and so, so the next thing you need to know about miguel the fourth thing is that you have so many opportunities to get a job like it's crazy I personally wasn't looking for a job because I know what I want to do and I just really was avoiding to get a job because I knew that I was just not going to do what I love. Uh, but if you are looking for a specific 
job like in finance, accounting or investments or whatever it is. That's I'm talking about my faculty because I went in the management faculty. But if you want a job, there are so many opportunities, so many cocktails, networking events, clubs. You have investment club, real estate club, accounting club, dancing club, opportunities for job internships and interviews. And I think this really is valuable to McGill. And you need to know this because if you're looking for a job already, then McGill may be a really good choice because it gives you a lot of opportunities. The thing I would say about that, about the jobs, is that if you're looking to find a job here uh, in Montreal specifically or in Quebec, they usually ask for French. So you should have a base of French or even like understand French usually. The fifth thing you need to know about McGill is that since people are really, really smart, it's really hard. It's really, really hard. McGill, um, I went through really tough times. Like I wanted to drop out and it was really <clears throat> intense because the amount of work that you put into like is right here. At least for me, it was right here. Like I was working really, really hard at the beginning of McGill and the grades are like right here. So you don't expect the grades that you usually get in CJEP or from high school because McGill uh, usually tries to keep the average on 75%. So they grade really, really tough and you're competing with people that are super intense, like very, very intense, which is not bad. If you really want that, if you really want competition, then McGill is the right place for you. But if you don't want to feel pressured, if you already feel pressured at high school, if you're not sure of what you want to do, I would not recommend for you to go to McGill because it is really, really hard. But if you never try, you never know. So I don't know. You choose. One of you asked me um, how I keep the balance between work at McGill and work in my own personal life, like with my social media. And really it is about scheduling things. If you don't have a schedule, if you don't have the things in your calendar, it's really hard to make a habit out of it. And without a habit, it's you're just going to procrastinate and then leave it for the end, which happened to me a few times. And I'll tell you, it's not fun at all. You don't wanna to go to your exam without having enough sleep, trust me. If your work has to take a little break during finals, it's completely fine. Trust me, it's better than, than uh, sacrificing the time you would need to study for the finals and your sleep. The other question that you guys asked me about McGill is what should I go into and how did you know that you wanted to go into management? Because you need to know yourself. I, I think you need to be self-aware. You need to know what you really want in life uh, to decide this career that you're getting into right now. And I think at the age of 18, I wasn't sure of what I wanted 100% and I wasn't mature enough to like choose a specific path and I feel like a lot of people feel that way at that age so don't stress about it the best thing I would say to do is to give it a try to the things that interest you the most if you don't like it please don't stay just go somewhere else try something different but explore explore because you never know until you try what you like the most uh, I mean the first year I thought I was gonna be in a an accounting and a finance major because my mom's an accountant I was good at it but I didn't really love it with all my heart it wasn't like my passion or anything like that so I didn't stay in that I changed to marketing and marketing is amazing I cannot tell you how much I love marketing especially brand anything related to brand please take take that class it's the best class even if you're not in marketing you should take brand management because it changed my life it, it, the things you learn about marketing is very it's more like in the deep in the consumer's mind which is also so so important that you need to know wherever media that you use to market your stuff you need to know the basics and that's what the program is about i would say for you if you don't know where to go start with some of your interest 
even if doesn't it doesn't seem like oh i'm not gonna make money out of it don't think about that just think about what you love because you don't want to spend the rest of your life doing something you don't love to do like that doesn't make sense it's an achievement it's an accomplishment it is hard it's not for everyone if you don't feel good in school just you don't have to go to school you can learn with books you can learn with other stuff it, school is just one system to learn, but it's not the only option you have. That is it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what else you want to see because I would love to make more videos. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye. Elvis, what are you doing, baby?